This is a special broadcast on the global emergency. The estimated time remaining before the complete flip of magnetic north and south poles is two minutes. Two minutes until all life as we know it on Earth will be annihilated. It may be hard to face this, but for all you listeners out there in Radio Land and everyone else on the planet, time to kiss our asses goodbye. <laughs> Okay, almost? Hang on, I'm trying. Here, let me help. Ow, Jesus, careful. Sorry, sorry, we just don't have much time. I know, I'm trying. You know I've never been great under pressure, just give me one second. Well, that's literally all we have. <laughs> it was two minutes, they said two minutes. What's the compass say now, has it flipped? Still north. Hurry up, we're losing time. I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't do it like this. It's 90 seconds of doomsday and there's no wood in sight. Oh, Harold, come on, you can do it. What better way is there to go out? I know, I know. I'm sorry, nothing is happening. Want me to try again? I don't, Joyce. I'm sorry, I just can't do it under pressure like this. Can we just hold hands, please? It's really happening, isn't it? It is. We've talked about it for years. Decades, and it always seemed theoretical. But here we are. The North and South Poles are actually flipping. Still north. The spaghetti is still boiling. I'm glad I didn't bother to mow the lawn. <laughs> Do you think I should turn the stove off? I guess it's okay. I forgot to pay the internet bill. I wish I hadn't been on a diet. I wish I hadn't been on the uh, wagon. I'm sorry about the time I weed whacked your flowers. It really was an accident. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I'm sorry about the time that I told your mom she looked like a female Ted Cruz. <laughs> it's okay. It's kind of true. <laughs> Joyce? Yeah? You deserved better than me all these years. Don't say that, Harold. I love you. It's true. I've been a lousy husband. You've been wonderful, really. I haven't, really. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, Harold, not now. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. I love you. I always suspected you and that woman from the car dealership had a thing. It's okay, I forgive you. Charlie and I had a weekend in Cabo that time that I told you I was going to my high school reunion. But none of that matters anymore. What matters is that you and I love each other. Come on. Charlie. My best friend, Charlie? Well, yes. You and Charlie had a weekend in Cabo? Um, yes. But it was years ago. I was mad about the dealership woman. So I had my revenge weekend and I felt better. But it doesn't matter now. I forgive you. You forgive me? I, I don't even know who you're talking about. Uh, that redhead woman. The one with the pounds of blue eyeshadow. 
The boobs out to here. The one who was draping all over you when we bought the truck. Joyce, what the hell are you talking about? No! But I thought you said you had something to tell me. That you'd been a bad husband? I thought- I was going to tell you that I should have bought you flowers more, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> that I should have made sure we went to Hawaii for our honeymoon instead of settling on a stupid camping trip. I was going to tell you that you deserved so much more than what I gave you. Oh. 